Got you. Right. Praise the Lord. Morning. 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 Uh, before I like go over the what I already have written written down, there was a few verses I actually thought about this morning that while everybody was up here and all. Um, in Proverbs uh, ten twenty eight, it says the prospect of the righteous is joy, but the hopes of the wicked come to nothing. I, yeah. yeah, it says it right there. I think that's something that yeah. it's so true. Like being Christians yeah. and having Christ in our life, that it just brings joy to us, yeah. and we have a hope. All right, so I wanted to talk this morning about how Christians should live. Praise the Lord. Uh, yes. It's, there's a huge range of things to talk about, but I just narrowed it down to a few things. So as Christians, we are called to be set apart from this world. Once we yes. have salvation, Amen. we're supposed to put uh, the things we once did to death, put off the old things, and yes. take on Christ, put on the new, because through him we're a new creation. Yes. Praise God. And if you go to 2 Corinthians 5.17, uh, it says, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, and new life has begun. Praise God. Amen. In Romans 12, verses 1 through 3, Paul's, Paul tells us to present our bodies as a living and holy sacrifice because this is the true way to worship him. In, uh, in verse 2, he says, Do not copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person, but change the way you think. Amen. There are people, especially in today's time, Everybody, like it's just, I feel it's getting way more wicked. Uh, the, there's Christians today that I know that, you know, they go to church every day, go to as many church events as they can, um, and claim that they're Christian, obviously, right. but they still live in a worldly manner. Right. And it just, it upsets me because as Christians, we're, suppo we're supposed to reflect Christ, Amen. not have one foot in the door and one foot. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not any better. Praise God. You are much better. But because of what Jesus did, we are given the right to become children of God. Yes. And the Hallelujah. least we could do is live a live our lives in an honorable way that brings glory to God. Jesus. Uh, today, cursing, inappropriate, and def defamatory speech have become accepted in so many places. I hear people from childhood to adulthood that just say so bad, so bad things, right. and they just curse, and it, it just like it is it seems like it comes so naturally to them, like drinking water, breathing oxygen. Yeah. Uh, especially some of them are Christians too. Right. That's uh, Praise God. I didn't write the exact Jesus. verses down, but in Ephesians chapter 4 and chapter 5, Paul writes and says that we should speak words to edify and bring grace to those who hear. Amen. The words we speak should be wholesome. The jokes, right. the jokes we tell shouldn't be vulgar and we shouldn't be lying. As Christians, we shouldn't shouldn't speak these ways in these ways we should speak wholesome words we shouldn't use our words that god has given us the ability to speak we shouldn't use that and belittle people but yes. we should use them to build and guide others yeah. Yeah. Very good. especially as followers of jesus we need to speak properly a christ-like way because there are people everywhere watching us waiting right. for us to say the wrong thing mm -hmm. and when we do they're like wow this is the 
follower of Jesus? I cannot believe he just said that. Wow. I guess I guess it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you know, as representatives of Christ, we don't want that. Yeah, right. Praise the Lord. We shouldn't be doing that. Uh, Colossians 4 6. It says, let your speech at all times be gracious and pleasant, seasoned with salt, so that we know how to answer each one who questions us or questions you. Our words should be gracious and pleasant. Yeah. It shouldn't be harsh words and just mean. Right. Right. It should just be kind and right. speak nicely to others, even if we're angry with them. Yes. Instead of Instead of cursing others, we should be blessing others. Right. When it comes to how we act, it should be in a holy and righteous manner. As Jesus said in Matthew 4, verses 14 through 16, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand giving light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Yes. Hallelujah. I added a verse right behind it. I didn't put it where it was, but it says, We should be kind to others, tenderhearted, always forgiving, just as God through Christ has forgiven us. Amen. We shouldn't be cold-hearted or cold to people right. and we shouldn't snap at them even if we get really frustrated with them yeah. <clears throat> just as it says in James 1 19 to 20 it says understand this my brothers and sisters you must all be quick to listen slow to speak slow to get angry human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires we right. should at least let them speak and hear what they have to say and if what they say is wrong, lovingly rebuke them. Yes, yes. Uh, it should be the same way if we are ourselves are rebuked. We should accept it graciously if it's a truthful correction. Um, if you're angry, let it be righteous anger. Righteous anger. <clears throat> Our actions should reflect Thank Christ you, in us. Amen. Uh, you know, the Bible tells us we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Right. Yes. Uh, we should love others and, and that we show the love of God and also opens an opportunity for us to show them Christ. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I added this. It was kind of funny. I don't know if I should say funny. Um, few weeks ago I was talking to my best friend about witchcraft uh, about how wrong it is and stuff and I was like Deuteronomy 18 yes. and then last Sunday we were talking about it a little bit so uh, I wrote uh, we are commanded not to participate in witchcraft, witchcraft because it's demonic it's not of God um, God commands us in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18 to not indulge in these things, such as, you know, card reading or fortune telling or psychic stuff right. or talk, uh, talking to spirits. Right. It's not of God, it's of the devil. Yes. Right. That's so right. the, same, the same thing should be with the way you decorate yourself or decorate your house yes. or wearing costumes. Yes. Yes. Uh, some, you know, some people say it's just for fun. Just get over it. It, it may be fun to them, but the moment they are spotted by an unclean spirit, it opens a door to, for them to be, you know, possessed or yeah. for the spirit to attach itself to them. Amen. And it just, it's not, not good. Yeah, uh, away from that. So we should be always filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, but be be alert and sober minded. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yes. We should always be ready, and even if we're 
not in church or preaching or with other Christians, we should always be ready. Yes. Um, like in Colossians 3, 12 through 17, uh, it says, Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above, above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you're called to live in peace and always be thankful. Let the message about Christ and all richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do as representatives of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God. That's that's really something recently I've been doing is especially when I'm feeling down, I just start singing some song that comes to my head yeah. and just sing to God and glorify him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And just don't leave room for God. Anything Hallelujah. unclean, anything of God, just always be Praising God, yes, giving thanks to Him, singing songs or singing. Praise God. Uh, although there are many things to discuss about the Christian lifestyle, there's one or two more things I would like to talk about. Uh, suffering for Christ, mm -hmm. though, maybe not here at least. We don't experience the kind of persecution that uh, some people do in the Middle East but you know I I look forward to you know be suffering for Jesus because that tests my faith and yes that, and, you grow. and it, it gives me a chance to grow and it cuts off the unfruitful branches yes. and builds up and it brings me closer to Jesus and just Hallelujah. Strengthens my or strengthens my relationship. Uh, and throughout the Bible, God's people are persecuted and even murdered. Right. But Jesus tells us that the world hated him first. So it, it shouldn't yes. surprise us when we right. experience hate. But we should endure that, endure the trials, the tribulations, and. 100% it's going to be worth it whenever Amen. our life here is over. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> it slipped my mind, but there was something else I wanted to say. But it might come back to me. Um, in 1 Timothy 4.12, Paul wrote to Timothy. You know, Timothy was young at this time. But he said, don't let any one think less of you because you're young. Be an example to all believers in what you say and the way you live in your love, your faith, and your purity. <laughs> Although Paul's young, or I mean Timothy was young in this, I, it should still go to us as well that no matter our age or anything, we should always be living for God and reflecting Him. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't let people think less of us, and if they do, don't let it get you down. Right. Because God is with us. Yes. Uh, and it shouldn't keep us from uh, living out our faith or sharing Jesus with others. Uh, the aspects of our lives should reflect the Lord Jesus in us so it can bring glory to Him. While I was writing that part, I thought of an old newsboy song called Shine that my mom and I listen to sometimes. But it says, Shine, make them wonder what you got. Make them wish that you were not, or that they were not on the outside looking forward. Shine, let it shine before all men. Let them see good works and then let them glorify the Lord. Yes. That's like what Jesus said in Matthew 5.16. Yeah. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all, men, for all to see. So that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But yeah, praise we, God. No matter what, in all things, 
in church, school, our jobs, the store, yes. anywhere. We should always, because we're Christians. Yes. We're saved. Praise and the Lord. because of that, we're representatives of Jesus everywhere, yeah. no matter what. If, yeah. And Timothy says, be ready in and out of season to share the <laughs> gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. I really can't remember what I wanted to say. I know it was good, but <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah. I remember one other thing. Okay, so my best friend and I listened to Christian hip hop, and you know it's a little different, but it's some fun to listen to, and it's still we like the biblical ones. But uh, I was thinking just earlier when we started the entire service. Um, Paul talks about how his spirit is willing but his flesh is weak right. he wants to do what is good but his yes. flesh craves what is not good right. uh, so we we may be, we may fall sometimes but God is always with us to pick us back up and yes. guide us and forgive us yes. we just keep asking for forgiveness God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, there. <laughs> my mind keeps blanking. Um, You're really good. I still gotta fix it, but there was a song I wrote. It's not really a song, more of a rap or a poem. I don't know what to say. But, but I was thinking, uh, and. First or second Corinthians, it says, We all suffer trials and tri tribulations. We shouldn't be surprised whenever we face them because right. our brothers and sisters around the world may face the same thing we're facing. Mm -hmm. So we have hope in Jesus. Yeah. Uh, end of my song, I don't remember the exact words, but I wrote, um, Every day, uh, you know, we. Uh, are faced with temptations every day uh -huh. and you know temptations are always thrown at us especially if our mind is not on God or maybe also that and then but, but uh, the second thing I wrote on in the song it says my spirit is willing but my flesh is weak right. uh, maybe it's saying let's do this but my but the Holy Spirit is saying no Right. Keep your mind on God. Amen. We, just, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's good. That's true. Uh, yeah. Praise and, the Lord. Amen. But as Christians, the least we could do is live our lives in the honorable way yeah. and always reflect Christ because we are representatives, ambassadors of Christ. Amen. Yeah. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. This world's not our home. We're the ambassadors here. We're to represent Christ. Praise so, God. Praise the Lord. us all here good lord so that as one body we could all grow together dear god because of what you've done god you saved us dear lord the least we could do is honor you god and show others you lord and dear god i just ask that you guide us guide me dear lord so that we can honor you dear god and show others that you're a good god dear lord and that you're a saving God and you're a loving God and that though there are Christians that don't live righteously dear Lord that there are some that still do dear God dear Lord I ask, just ask that you be with us guide us dear Lord and give us strength and just draw us closer to you dear Lord and be with us when we leave 
They give us a passage, Lord. And whenever we're not with other believers, I ask that you just help us keep our minds on you, dear Lord. Yes, Jesus. Just strengthen us, dear Lord, and strengthen our faith. In Jesus' name. Amen.